How's it everyone? So about 40 kilometers outside of Cape Town, you'll find Helderberg Trails. Here, chief trail builder Jan van Skaldveik has handcrafted over 40 trails, totaling 30 kilometers that are XE trail and e-bike friendly. So rad is Helderberg Trails that big names like Alan Hathaly, Nino Schurte, Greg Menard, Yolanda Neff and other superstars of the sport are known to frequent it. Helderberg Trails also regularly hosts stages of the Cape Epic. In this video, former World Cup racers Andrew and John T. Nettling, who have ridden here since the 90s, helped me piece together a long run down the mountain. We started at the top of the world trail and linked various trails together to create a long run that totaled just under 5 kilometers with about 480 meters of descent. Hop on board with us and enjoy the POV.
because your water bottle is quite visible. That was sick. Yeah. <laughs> so one come back. Thank you, have a lot. Yeah. No, definitely not a comeback. But yeah. uh, I haven't done it in a million years and we're gonna potentially go do a project there. So just explain to your viewers what Mega Avalanche is. So Mega Avalanche, for anyone that hasn't seen it, do some Googling and don't get too afraid of the glacier carnage. But you start on the top of Alpe d'Huez, as far as I know, it is Alpe d'Huez, I think. I've done the Reunion one as well, Reunion Island. It's a mass start downhill, so in short, Start on top of a glacier, there's five, 10 minutes of that. And then it's 40 to 50 minutes of awesome single track. There's obviously some pedaling involved, kind of like enduro downhill, but it's mass start. So it's just chaos. And there's a qualifying round on a different track, like two days before you do a bunch of practice with your mates. I think anyone that's interested in gravity, enduro downhill should try tick off a mass start race. It's really, really fun. And uh, how long has it been since you were on the start line of a race? Uh, seven or eight years unless you count a pump track but I don't think we should count that it's a tarmac pump track and why why now why well it's just a conversation with Brendan talking about doing mega avalanche and doing a project kind of behind the scenes and maybe take the viewer along a journey hopefully okay. on what these events are like Sick. and what better way to do it is get in the race again so yeah and what bike will you do it on I'll do it on my new ransom as far as I know, big yeah. yeah, big travel, pedals great, but um, yeah. Full body armor. I'm probably gonna need some body armor to get yeah. through the glacier. Exactly. And uh, the training is just a survival. I mean, you're doing 40, 50 minutes, your arms are gonna start feeling it. So I think just for safety's sake, 
get a bit fit um, so that it's more fun when you're there. And I think anyone listening knows that if they're going to do an event, putting a bit of prep in or putting an event in the calendar gets them out on the bike more. And it has. It's been really, really quite fun actually going through the process again. But also I'm having fun with it. Sick. I'm not victim to my training schedule. Nice. So there's been a long enough break that it's now just pure for fun. Yeah. And I'm chatting to sort of a new coach that we um, trying some new things just as a kind of I'm um, a guinea pig so that we can maybe have a podcast but he said you know if you don't feel like doing it go and don't do it but often when it's on the schedule you feel obliged don't you so it's human nature cool and we're here today uh Heldeberg trails where you where you and john t you guys started your racing or started a lot of did a lot of your early runs in your early career um we're right up at the top we're going to do a long run top to bottom um what is this place what does this place mean to you? You spend so much time up here. It's just down the road from your, well, it's up the road from your bike shop, up the road from your house. What does riding here still mean to you? Like, does it, is it still very special for you? It is, especially when you get asked to sort of reflect on it. It's where John T and I did our first downhill race when we were about 11 and 13, give or take. And we used to push up and practice with our mates. You know, mom would drop us at the bottom of this farm. And off we'd go into the hiking trails and learn to sort of ride mountain bikes here. I mean, how crazy is that? And now, all these years later, over 25 years later, we're up here on professionally built trails, which Jan van Skaldberg, um, one of the landowners, started. I helped him. Um, I don't like to take a lot of credit because he and him and his team and the farm workers have put so much effort in here. But to get to share that with my brother still, I mean, that's really special, you know. And we, in late in my uh, downhill career, this was the training ground. This is where we did shuttles, we did testing. And now, if John T has an hour to get out of the shop, this is where we come. Exactly. And we're so, so lucky, yeah. And uh, anyone can ride this trail, really. I mean, Yolanda Neff rides it when she, well, well, she did ride it when she was here, doing off-season training. A lot of World Cup XC riders come and ride it. Nino rides it all the time. So if anyone's watching, you can bring, I mean, we're on e-bikes, mid-travel e-bikes, but you can actually bring any bike and do this long run, like top to bottom. Uh, it's maybe like eight or 10 minutes if you don't e stop. Yeah, easily easily okay. and um so it's a long run it's a long run so it's one of the longest runs probably in the country and it's sort of really flowy i think you kind of have to use your brakes here and there it's gravity fed you actually don't have to do too much pedaling which is awesome from young side every time there's maintenance you might bring a machine in and tweak a berm for a bit more flow and then we've got options yeah we've got a e-bike enduro style trail that will go down and you've also got the XC, which is kind of from an intermediate beginner. You can get down. You need a little bit of skill or a little bit of experience, shall I say. But yeah, you can bring any bike here. You can come all the way to the top. And then there's all options going down from advanced, intermediate to, to almost a newish comer. Yeah. And single, virtually, single track almost all the way up, right? Yeah, and the other unique thing is single track nearly all the way up. There's one fire road that you've got to just get through. It's paved now. But uh, do yourself a favor, you can get through that, all the good stuff's at the top half. Okay. 